What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, I want to show you how to have your docs offline. Um, one of the big things with school is giving kids devices, going one-to-one. -one. The problem is not every kid has access to Wi-Fi at home, so you're thinking, how can they work on their assignments? Well, what you do is you have them set up their Google Drive to where it's available offline. So whatever they have in their drive, they can access and get to offline. So if they save um, you know, some files from your Google Classroom, then go in and download the PDF or the worksheet or whatever it is that you've assigned them, and then they can actually create docs and create slides and create sheets and do everything they would normally do in Google Drive. The only thing it wouldn't do would be sync. So essentially, this is a way to turn Google Drive into Microsoft Office, something that you can only work on on your computer. However, as soon as you do connect to the internet, as soon as that child gets to a school district um, or a school, which most have Wi-Fi, as soon as your, your computer hits the Wi-Fi or their computer hits the Wi-Fi, it'll automatically update all of their stuff. The only time you're ever going to have a conflict is if two kids are working on the same document, like they're working together on a shared document and then they both are offline and then they get both off online, it's going to kind of have some, a little bit of discrepancy, but you won't run into that very often. It, you just don't. And so y'all can handle it once that happens. All right. So I'm going to show you how to download them offline. Okay, so I'm in my Google Drive. You have the kids sign into their Google Drive just like this. Go over to the far right where the gear is. That's Those are your settings. You want to click that. You want to go to settings. Now once you're in there, these are all of your details, okay? So storage is 14 megs, and it is that's not very much. So I'm good on this little fake one. My real one has like hundreds of gigs. I don't need to download it offline. It would fill up my computer. However, kids aren't going to have that many videos in there. If their gigs get up, it's because they have videos. Tell them to delete them or put them on YouTube, and it's free storage. Okay, sorry. Got off topic. So what I want you to do is I want you to go down to the fourth one. It says offline. It's asking you, do you want to sync your Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Drawings files on the computer so you can edit offline? The Google Drive extension will be added to Chrome. Um, they don't recommend it on public or shared computers. However, when you're going one-to-one -one or it's your device, you're not sharing it. You're using it. So you click that, and it'll turn on this. Add Google Docs offline. Yes, I want to add that extension. Boom. I am done. And then it is going to save your files to where they are offline. So you can edit, you can go into your Google Docs, your Google Sheets, whatever. You can work on your stuff offline. So then when you do get to Wi-Fi, it'll upload automatically or it'll update automatically, and you're good to go. You don't miss a beat. Just make sure you download any PDFs or worksheets or take screenshots of things you need to read or instructions for your assignment. Get that before you get offline, and you're good to go. That's it. Hope you have a great day, and believe in your dreams. That's it. Bye-bye.